Convert a classic KMG belt grinder with the pulley drive system into a classic KMG with direct drive. Using the KMG direct drive kit, available at BeaumontMetalWorks.com. Remove all four screws from the rear riser. We will use the same four screws to attach the direct drive gusset and motor plate later. Remove only the two rearmost of flathead screws from the bottom plate. These will be used later. After removal of four screws from the rear riser face and two flathead screws from the underside of the base, the KMG Classic drive shaft bearings and housing assembly can be removed. Next, install the L-shaped steel gusset from the direct drive kit. Secure the gusset to the rear riser with two screws previously removed. Secure the gusset to the base plate from the bottom with one flathead screw previously removed. Tighten all three screws securing the gusset. Next, attach the motor plate in the same manner. Secure the motor plate to the rear riser with two screws that were previously removed. Secure the motor plate to the base plate from the bottom with the other flat screw previously removed. Tighten all the screws to secure the motor plate and gusset. Use the fasteners from the Beaumont motor mount kit to attach the 56C frame motor. Attach the motor to the motor mount plate using the four screws provided with split lock washers. Securely tighten all four screws on the motor mount in an alternating sequence. Remove the 316th key from the motor plate 
and move it to the drive shaft key seat. Install the Beaumont 6-inch direct drive wheel with extended boss on the drive shaft. The motor shaft will be recessed roughly 3 8 of an inch to 5 8 of an inch from the drive wheel face. The drive wheel's extended boss supports complete contact with the motor shaft. Completely tighten the set screw in the drive wheel before operation. Adjustments to the belt tracking and alignment. Number one, adjustments to the tracking wheel. Number two, adjustments to the drive wheel. Number three, adjustments to the tensioner arm angle. Number four, adjustments to the tracking wheel spacer, increase or decrease. The initial adjustment should be done manually with all power disconnected. Locate the black tracking wheel. To move the belt to the left, closer to the machine, tighten the tracking knob and turn clockwise. To move the belt to the right, away from the machine, loosen the tracking knob and turn it counterclockwise. Small adjustments to the distance between the drive wheel and motor plate may improve belt alignment. Excessive tilt of the tracking wheel can be addressed with small adjustments to the angle of the tension arm. Here the tracking wheel is tilted too low and leans downward. By pivoting the handle and tracking wheel to the right slightly, belt adjustment is achieved by making the tracking wheel more level. For this small angle adjustment, loosen only the front screw of the tension arm riser. and gently tap the riser base with a rubber mallet to pivot the tension arm. Tighten the riser block screws and return the spring and tracking wheel to position. By opening the angle of the tension arm and pivoting it to the right, The belt can be aligned using the tracking knob, while the tracking wheel is more level than before. If the tracking wheel is tilted too high, the mirror image of the prior adjustment can be made to pivot the tracking wheel and arm slightly to the left. Buy the classic KMG direct drive upgrade kit at beaumontmetalworks.com. Buy grinders and accessories at beaumontmetalworks.com.
Learn more at BeaumontMetalWorks.com and our YouTube channel, Beaumont Metalworks. Beaumont Metalworks.